Hey mans, uh, I'm Rob Lyle, aka Spedzy, um, creator of The Devil's Toilet. I am here with Shane from Comex, who's putting together an awesome calendar to support not only me, but a whole bunch of Australian artists. Um, so support Shane by supporting us so he can support, just everyone support everyone. Let's make some cool stuff. All right, Shane, let's talk about art. So the piece we have here is Devil's Toilet. Uh, cover number two. Uh, so what yep. is it about this piece that you like? Um, well, I like the, because I was trying to make it sort of something big, jump off the page sort of vibe. And I was going for, I ref, so that's the devil there, as you can see. And I yep. refer to him in the book as uh, a big horny kaiju. And so I guess I was going for a big sort of kaiju look as kaiju as I could get. Um, I couldn't find any, I could not get that pose right. I guess this is more of the challenges question. Um, but so I ended up having to do the reference for that one myself, um, complete in my undies and everything. And nice. My wife take a photo of me doing that uh, from multiple <laughs> angles. Um, yeah. No, I'm pretty happy with the way it came up. Oh, yeah, nice. Uh, same undies? Uh, no, mine are striped. Oh, oh, so you yeah. didn't, didn't totally go the full reference. Okay. Uh, fair I only have the one pair. Yeah, they're striped. Yeah. So I guess that's what inspired this piece was that um, reference picture. Yeah, well, yeah, trying to get it. So uh, the end of Devil's Toilet, issue one, uh, the devil launches out of the Devil's Toilet. So the Devil's Toilet serves as a uh, a portal. So it, long story short, the Devil's Toilet is an actual toilet from hell. Uh, it's the Devil's Toilet, as is in, in the name. Uh, it escapes from hell, um, which the devil allows it to do because uh, it serves as a gateway for the devil to escape and inflict hell on earth. So the end of Devil's Toilet 1, the big sort of crash bang cliffhanger is the devil coming out of the toilet. And issue two starts with the big horny kaiju uh, running rampant on earth. Oh, so nice. that's the vibe I was going for. And yeah. So that, so I'm guessing that was also the challenges. Like you said, the challenges question was getting that pose right. So, yeah. yeah, trying to get that pose. I really wanted to, I love, so um, I'm more of a cartoonist than I am. A, I would love to be a comic book illustrator that could like draw huge scenescapes and, you know, with, I just love like any of that big monster imagery where there's the big massive Godzilla type creature in the background and the tiny yeah. little heroes. Um, this was me attempting that while within my sort of cartoony style. Um, yeah, so it was a challenge trying to get that sort of um, have him look big and menacing while still <laughs> people don't. Uh, so it says the devil's toilet, but then when I, I like to try and have the toilet on the cover so people go, wait, it's about an actual toilet. So <laughs> having him, having the, the main characters still somewhat prominent but being overshadowed was kind of the, was the challenge there. Well, you did a good job. It's a it's a cool cover. I like it. Oh, cheers, mate. Yeah. Cheers. Um, so did you have to learn anything new to 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 do this um, particular cover, or um, was it just yeah, your, your skills and the the reference? Um, lighting was a big. So obviously, you see the moon in the background. Yeah. Um, and then the shadows that that the shadows that it's brought out. I've never done that much shadow before. Like I do shadows to sort of give people a sort of like a, a 3D-ish sort of look, but that's as far mm -hmm. as I go. This was like shading the entire character except for highlights around the side. I'd never done that before, so that was, I guess, a, a challenge and uh, something I had to learn, make it make it work. So, yeah. Yeah, it's nice. You did a good job. Um, yeah, that's cool. Um, just so what do you think about this piece that would connect with your fans? Uh, I'm hoping it, it sort of attracts the eye when it's on the, on the comic book rack, mm -hmm. um, that it kind of conveys the, it's a jokey book, but it has real stakes sort of thing. Yeah. So are these characters about to get squished? You'll have to read the book. Nice. Nice. <laughs> yeah. I like that. Yeah. Thanks very much, Rob. It was great to talk to you today. Um, it was good to learn about your art. Um, so um, catch you either in the next video or you can check out the next person's video.
Yeah, cheers, man. Thanks for having me. If you'd like to see more of Rob's work, go to psychogenitor.com. To see what Rob has contributed to the calendar, go to comx.link to register your interest and just sign up with a Kickstarter and register to get a reminder when the campaign starts. Uh, thanks for your support. Have a great day.